The Republicans have come under fire for their inability to pass health care or a budget, despite controlling Congress and the White House. Joining us now is Genevieve Woods, senior advisor at the Heritage Foundation, who previously worked for the Republican National Committee. Welcome to the program. Glad I'm at Heritage and not the RNC these I days. was just <laughs> going to say, boy, would you have your hands full, yes, wouldn't indeed. you? Let's talk about this. What does all of this mean? We're hearing they're going to have a voterama, they're voting this, they're voting that. The bottom line, can they pass this? Well, I, I think they think that they get, will eventually get something together that they can get 51 votes for. And what you're going to see between now and basically the next 20 to 24 hours is vote after vote after vote on a number of amendments that may or may not get passed. But at the end of the day, what will happen is Senator Mitch McConnell, the majority leader, will come in and say, here's the final bill. And, and, and that will be put together based on how do I get to 51, either 51 senators or 50 senators with Mike Pence coming and giving the final vote. Let's talk about Planned Parenthood and what we just heard Jason Calvi report exclusively, which is that now to get all of this language through, they are actually doing something that is better for pro-life groups in yeah. saying that, all right, there's now a million dollar threshold and instead of a $350 million threshold, and it's not just Planned Parenthood right. that is going to be um, acts. Is it amazing that something better could come out of this <laughs> than anybody <laughs> thought? Well, I mean, they, they are dealing with a lot of rules because they're having to do this on what they call a rec reconciliation bill, and there's a number of different budget measures in there and language that has to get through the Senate parliamentarian. Uh, but at the end of the day, interestingly, I don't think the abortion issue is what's going to hold up this deal at all because no Democrats are likely going to vote for this. And most Republicans, this isn't what they're concerned about. Many of them, the ones that are concerned, want this kind of language in there. They absolutely know the Republican base, the conservative base, is not going to support something that doesn't include defunding of Planned Parenthood and cutting back on those dollars. The other big story of today, Genevieve, and help us make some sense out of this, is that there was a tweet today, and the president said he's banning transgender people from the military. They cannot be burdened with the tremendous medical costs and disruption. John McCain then came out and John McCain said, I don't think so. This is not a good idea. We heard other lawmakers say it. This seems eerily familiar to no gays in the military. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, this argument, is this going to face the same backlash as that argument? It's going to probably be similar, but I will tell you, if you talk to not just members of Congress who don't like to fight these messy political battles, uh, but you talk to former generals, including experts at the Heritage Foundation. I talked with one today. He said he thinks this is the right decision in cost because different than gays in the military with transgender. And there's a debate going on in Congress right now about how many taxpayer dollars should go to paying for military health care that pays for transgender all these surgeries. transgender surgeries. Right. And just as many people don't want to pay for abortions with their tax dollars, many people don't believe they should be having their tax dollars going to pay for transgender surgery. So there is a difference between this and I would argue that the, the gay debate, but there is also that huge element which is for unit cohesion and the like, they think this is a problem. Uh, and while the Pentagon may have said they were surprised this morning, apparently many of the Pentagon chiefs that President Trump talked to Agree advised with this him decision. this direction. So <laughs> right. I find it all interesting how they're all surprised. Right. I'm, I understand exactly what you're saying. Thank you so much for putting this into context. Thank Genevieve you. Wood of the Heritage Foundation.